sure, but so, okay. So we can go, we can. Did you want to? How do you want to? Well, do this? I mean, uh, I guess the truth is that this topic was actually inspired by somebody that we disagree with over email, and right. I guess he has decided to call in today and discuss it with us. So, yeah. how about yeah. it? So well, I guess we can go on. Is this Patrick? Yeah. How are Hi, you, Patrick? And, how are you doing? Can we turn that up? I can't quite hear him. Okay. Uh, you can go ahead. You can go yeah, ahead. We're, we're kind of turning the floor over to you to begin with. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, um, I had gone to. Uh, uh, I had seen the bumper sticker, um, National Atheist Day, April first, on cars here in. Uh, San Antonio, and it was uh, greatly irritating and very insulting, and uh, it didn't go. Um, it didn't go with the flow with the, what Christians say is a, a faith called that has its basis in love. What it did the bumper sticker say? National Atheist Day, April first, and underneath, in small letters, was the quote from uh, from Psalm. Uh, fourteen one that says, the fool has said in his heart there is no God. But the quote, uh, because the bumper sticker, National Atheist Day, April 1st, was in big, bold letters that you could see readily. Sure, because that's the, the part that's funny. And the quote that was um, Relatively speaking. smaller was the quote from the Bible, and it was insulting, and it was um, uh, irritating, at least insulting to all, uh, mainly. And um, to, to you... It's always been that way, uh, right? It's, but it's I don't, I, you know, I'm somebody who do, not only doesn't find that particularly um, insulting, uh, I'm not bothered by it at all. Well, the, the reason well, why it's insulting is because he's a fool. to the Christians, it is not an opinion. To the Christians, it is a fact, not an opinion, because it's taken from a quote from the Bible, and to the Christian, nothing in the Bible is opinion. It is total, complete fact. And I've been driving a taxi for 15 years, and uh, not I've only lived in San Antonio for three years, but I've also driven in uh, New York City, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and also Los Angeles. And I have found that uh, uh, most of the people I've spoken with at various times say that um, uh, they would never vote for an atheist for any office, even city, down to the city councilman, because of what they've been told by their ministers, of course, and by the Bible. Right. And so um, I, uh, I wanted to find out exactly who made that bumper sticker, and yep. when I Googled National Atheist Day, um, Ray Comfort's ministry with Kirk Cameron came up for Living Waters, yeah, and so uh, let, me, I went let me ask. Let me break in with a quick question. You've said a couple of times that Christians believe that this is not an opinion. Oh, absolutely, because Does it's that the Bible mean it's and that's not? fact to them. D that doesn't mean it's not an opinion. Oh, it is an opinion. It's fact to them. It's not an opinion. Yeah, it doesn't matter what they call them, it. Or but what I mean, they there there is an actual difference between fact and opinion. Don't you agree? Yes, but not and, to them. I don't it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, my opinion is that the invisible space monkey hangs over my head. But well, if I say well, that's a fact, that doesn't make it a fact. There's well, actual ways to tell the difference between a fact and opinion. And saying all atheists are fools strikes me as an opinion, whatever you, whatever they want and, to call And best it. case scenario, the best thing they could do is say that it's God's opinion. No, they wouldn't ever say that. Uh, actually, uh, they would. They haven't. Well, all right, they maybe your personal experiences with them are slightly different from other people's experiences. And as somebody who was a Christian for 20-some-odd years, um, that's the way I would have looked at it. Because, because see, um, to take, take, for example, the, Jew, the Jewish people believe that Jesus was not the Son of God. Yes. The Christian people believe he was the Son of God. Now, to the Jewish people, what the Christians believe is an opinion, and vice versa. But... To the Christians, there is no opinion that Jesus was the Son of God. It's fact. It's not an opinion. It's not even open to debate. Right. And to the Jews, the the fact, the idea that Jesus was not the Son of God is a fact, not an opinion. So basically, that bumper sticker is an opinion to yes, non-Christians. It's a fact. It's an Christians. opinion that some people believe is true at a factual level. 
but it's an opinion nonetheless. Before we go further, I, I want to go ahead and, and, and address this because, first of all, uh, that's an old bumper sticker, an old idea. It's available at all kinds of places, not just at Ray Comforts. But what you did, and this is how you got in contact with us, was you sent a, a message to the Living Waters publication and then copied us on it. And I'm going to read what you sent out uh, so that people get an idea of how this all started. Uh, Mr. Comfort, Mr. Cameron, your item number 500 Atheist Day bumper sticker is a very unchristian insult to atheists. Just because your Bible states something does not mandate that you use this information to insult atheists like me. I'm not a fool and want you to change the wording of your sticker. The average driver can easily read the words National Atheist Day April 1st, but the words of Psalms 14.1, which are below these words, cannot, by easy, cannot be easily seen by any motorist. My life as an American atheist has been unalterably changed by your bumper sticker. I would never be elected any political position in our country because your bumper sticker has poisoned some believers' minds. Oh, sorry, most believers' minds. I demand that you use your own Savior's command to love your neighbor as yourself and change your bumper sticker to read something like Psalm 14.1 should be read. I understand that the U.S. Constitution guarantees you freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of the press. However, that it does not give you unlimited license to publicly insult those who do not share your beliefs. Would your Savior, Jesus Christ, support your bumper sticker? Absolutely not. If by August 23, 2008, your bumper sticker has not been changed on your website, I will file a lawsuit in U.S. District Court, West District of Texas in San Antonio, and have a restraining order issued to order you to change your sticker. Now, my immediate response to you, which I'm going to read verbatim, and then we'll go on with the discussion, was this. Thanks for writing. Unfortunately, I neither agree with nor support the action you've taken here. The freedoms of speech, expression, and religion are some of the few things that I revere to the point that I would almost consider them sacred. You stated that you understood the U.S. Constitution guarantees these things, but doesn't give them the right to publicly insult those who don't share their belief. Actually, yes, it does. Their bumper sticker is protected speech. No one has a protected right to not be offended or insulted. I see no justification for any claim that you've been actually harmed in any way by the bumper sticker. Threatening to sue in order to silence someone else's view is, in my opinion, despicable. It's the sort of bullying tactic we have to face from the God-loving majority on a regular basis. While I'd love to congratulate you on a job well done, I'd be a hypocrite to do so. In my opinion, you haven't accomplished anything positive at all. You've made atheists appear to be humorless, bullying, litigious, and opposed to the very First Amendment freedoms that are essential to ensuring that minority groups aren't mowed down by the religious self-righteous. This is one of the worst things any atheist could have done, especially considering who you're dealing with. I wouldn't be the slightest bit surprised to see this discussed <clears throat> on Ray Comfort's blog or hear it on the Way of the Master radio program. You've not only trampled the Constitution and played up to some atheist stereotypes, you've actually provided ammunition to one of the most clueless and laughable evangelists on the planet so that he can come out looking like a kind, reasonable, atheist-loving Christian. That's what I sent you, and then I, things kind of went downhill from there. Um, so, uh, since uh, you had a challenge, I figured we'd go ahead and let you call in and make it. I do have actually updates, too, for you that okay. have been happening since all our email communications. Um, one of the gentlemen that I was speaking to through email uh, at the Living Waters Publications, uh, now, the day after I, fa I emailed this letter to them that you read, uh, the, le the day after it, uh, they the gentleman sent me a letter saying that per your request this bunk burst sticker has been removed from our website it is no longer for sale well and it says we will review everything that's go you know we will review it so i checked and i called up their order line i checked their website and it was in fact removed from their from their uh, website and i called up uh, to or I wanted I told I wanted to see what they would say when I called them up and order it and he, she said I'm sorry it's been removed I don't know why but it's been removed so you can't order it so um, after a couple of days I sent another email to them saying um, what is the status of your review and this morning he sent me an email saying uh, we have decided it is not going to go back on our website but what we are going to do is we are going to offer it free of charge in March so that people can use it on April 1st. Well, congratulations. You created more of them. But I haven't How did finished. that turn out for you? Oh, I'm not finished with them. 
Yes, and the problem <laughs> is you shouldn't have ever started from them. What on earth gives you the right to threaten lawsuits just because you're personally offended by somebody else's free speech? Oh, actually, it goes far beyond that. Because what? my wife and I have, you know, uh, been married for 30 years and ever. And um, I'm not, I have never been in the closet about my atheism right. because I told a Christian in my cab one day because she said, you know, you brag about it. And I said, just like you brag about being a Christian, there's no reason I can't brag about not being one. I said, I'm not in the closet and I'm never going to be in the closet. I'm not ashamed of it. I said, other people don't talk about it. I do because Christians talk about it all the time, so why shouldn't I? Okay, can I you said, get to I'm the point? Because we're not seat. here for the life story. So. Uh, basically, what I've told him is, uh, I will send you a letter, but if you publicly say, considering that what you are doing is also against the Bible, that bumper sticker also violates Matthew chapter 5, verse 22. Okay, stop. Stop for just a second. I understand all this. The first part of your letter, then, I'm okay with. And actually, um, pointing out the hypocrisy of, the, of what they're doing is a good thing. I have no problem with that. To point out that it violates Matthew 5.22, um, which says anybody who, who <clears throat> says to their brother, thou fool, is in danger of hellfire, that's fine. It shouldn't surprise you at all that they're hypocritical. I mean, after all, they're hypocritical about a lot of other things that are in the Bible. Um, but they're also following in the steps of Jesus, who, after saying this, called people fools in Luke 11.40, Luke 24.25, uh, Luke 12.20, and or God calls somebody a fool. You could make a list like that to show the absurdity of this. My problem is not with the fact that you got offended. It's not with the fact that they're being hypocrites. Um, one of the things that I enjoy about the bumper sticker is that I know when I every time I see one, not only do I get a chuckle out of it because... It's not really humorous, but the fact that they thought it was makes me laugh. I also get a, a chuckle because I know that one Christian who knows nothing about atheism and very little about his own Bible has managed to bilk some other Christian who knows nothing in atheism and very little about his Bible out of a couple bucks. I find that incredibly amusing. What, what I have a problem with is your threatening to sue in order to censor them. So, I mean... It hasn't ended because I am going to sue them. Why? Why? Because uh, on what grounds? How, what grounds? What, how what, what is that law bumper sticker? can you point to that actually yeah. gives you a case? Okay, um, I'll give you exactly what the example is. Now, freedom of speech is not unlimited. It is very limited. To what? You cannot yell fire in a theater. That's illegal. Okay, you do not so have nobody's. Of so as long as nobody's being harmed. In, oh, they in are. danger of their life, check. They are being harmed. How, how is that bumper sticker harming you? Because when Christians look at that bumper sticker, and like, you know, like other things on the Internet, there's T-shirts and everything else, they do not take that as anything but fact. And people in general, uh, the, the atheists that are talking on this line and are on your show... But those people already believe it. Yeah, and suppose you did manage to get rid of this bumper sticker. Then what? People would still be reading that atheists are fool on the web. They they would be seeing it in newspaper columns. It's they still would in be the Bible. See, they would be hearing it in church every week. Are you going to sue every single one of them? And how well, you, you got to start someplace. No, actually, you don't, no, you don't, because this is free speech. Nobody has an inherent right not to be offended. And much the same way that I can have a bumper sticker on my car, and I do, which says that fundamentalism stops a thinking mind. And I have another which one that an says, opinion. And I have another one that says blasphemy is a victimless crime. And I have another Jesus fish I used to until some Christian ripped it off uh, that had a hook through it, demonstrating that I think faith is gullibility. We had a bumper sticker here that said faith is gullibility. We had others that said prayer is talking to yourself. Rapture is a world without religious nuts. This is an expression of our beliefs. What you're when, doing is because you got offended, you're threatening a lawsuit for which you have absolutely no grounds. When you get into an area where items such as that bumper sticker guarantee that even though you're a qualified person eligible for a political position, because of what they believe is fact, you would never be elected. If you think for one moment that people decide not to trust atheists because they saw a bumper sticker that said April 1st is National Atheist Day, then you, sir, are a fool, which demonstrates that the bumper sticker is actually true. 
No. No? Not at all. Not at all. No, matter well, of fact... Uh, hang the, on. Uh, there, were, there were some things that you sent me in email that I'd kind of like to address real quick. Sure, um, Right off the bat, um, you, you sent... Uh, after my initial response, you sent me a quote from Dave Kong, the, the head of American Atheists in California, who said, I just saw the good news. This is terrific. Way to go. And my response was, okay, then I disagree with him, too, because I think it's a bad idea. I found it interesting that your first response to me was actually appeal to authority, as if, uh, oh, I heard from somebody in American Atheist, so I'm not going to still think that this is a stupid idea. Uh, sorry. Dumb ideas are dumb ideas. Violations of the Constitution, disregard for the Constitution, is still a disregard. It doesn't matter if you got Richard Dawkins to call in and say, "Woo, I'm glad that bumper sticker's gone." Richard's wrong. No, he's not. I yeah. mean, uh, as anybody well, as who is, is just not. yeah, anybody who is just offended uh, is being totally misled. It's an insult, not just offensive. It's an insult. It's not humorous. It's insults, not a joke. It's not insults, anything like that. It's serious. Insults are legal. I can insult you all day long. Now, lies, lies are legal. Not I can lie libelous. all day long. The only time that there's a legal problem is when you get into libel and slander. It I is can libelous. say that you're a fool and a moron, that you've made a stupid thing happen all the time on TV and post it on the Internet. And I'm going to. <laughs> No, it's libelous. No, it's not. It's yes, an it opinion. Is. You've already in said my opinion, yourself earlier in this call that the bumper sticker was, in fact, an opinion. It doesn't only matter to what the Christians think it is. That's all right, only because we view these things from the, na from the point of view of the arbitrary observer. It doesn't matter that some nut job happens to think it's a fact. As, as an, actu an actual fact, it is an opinion. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Only to non-believers. It's an opinion to anybody who doesn't already accept that this is a fact. In any kind of objective sense, But it's those are the people it's, that it's meant to say, to, so re to remind. It so is what? a fact to Christians. So what? If somebody had a bumper sticker that said the Holocaust never happened, it's a fact to those nut jobs who think the Holocaust never, never and happened. And a very small minority. But, so, oh, so now... The people it's who believe that are in the vast because majority. Because the majority are gullible all of a sudden, there's something wrong with it? Where did you go to law school? The, as far as the, the bumper sticker source, it is believed by the vast majority of people, right. and that makes it a fact. No, it to doesn't. Them. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Facts are not discerned by majority frickin' opinion. You, every, every correspondence from you, and I've got them all here, there is nothing in here. You, re, you refuse to actually state how this bumper sticker has caused you any harm. You go back and forth. That would come in the lawsuit, not in the damn letter. Oh. Uh, okay, so, so you're saying this bumper sticker has caused you harm? You have some kind of secret proof which you cannot now express to us because oh, I can. you haven't started. Well, you're not doing a very good job before, right, so far. I hate I haven't to say tried it. yet. I've been on other things. Well, get, get to how the bumper sticker uh, has caused you harm. When I saw the bumper sticker, I had a passenger in my cab, and we were at a red light. And the, the passenger was in the front seat, and he said, look at that. And I, and I read it, and it was plain as day. And I said, yeah, I saw, I've seen it before. And he said, uh, they are right, because he said, uh, if anybody ever did, uh, atheists are fools. And he said, anybody who denies the existence of God is exactly what the Bible said. They are fools. Okay. I said, you mean you would never uh, want a person who... Uh, is a, I'm, I'm going to interrupt you. To, uh, I'm going to interrupt you, despite the fact that it's rude, and stop you here, because it doesn't matter where you go from here. You've already screwed up. Even if he punched you out, the bumper sticker did not cause that. The bigotry of the moron sitting next to you caused that. The fact that he believed and accepted this religious opinion is what caused the problem, not the bumper sticker. The bumper sticker is free expression. To him, it was a fact, not a fact. I don't care if it was a fact to him. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what you believe. It only matters what he believed. And no, he, no, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what we or he believed because there is an actual legal difference between fact and opinion. 
Well, if you're going to bring ago, a lawsuit, then nobody is going to care many what some ago, guy in your cab thought was a fact or opinion. It's only going to matter what the judge thinks. Eight, eight years ago, when I was living in Ontario, California... Does this have anything to do with the bumper sticker? Yes. Okay. Eight years ago, when I was in Southern California, I made certain uh, actions threatening a city with a lawsuit for their nativity scenes... And, and you uh, won, and you should have won. And I would have supported you on that 100%. True. What's that have to do with the bumper sticker? Because to them, in the city, it wasn't an opinion. It was fact. I don't care. You, you seem to, to just not understand this. It doesn't matter that you can point to somebody who sincerely believes something and considers it a fact. That is completely irrelevant to whether or not they are, in fact, to the outside observer, expressing a religious opinion, which is also completely separate from whether or not you, being offended by their op opinion, have any justification for suing. I don't know how else to explain this. Well, you're wrong. Well, I, the reason I, I've met the reason, the only reason I sent you the quote by Dave Kong is because. He wasn't just another atheist or just another member of American atheists. He was the head of the California atheist. Look up a long time. argument from authority. I don't care if he was the head of California atheists, a random member. God himself. Opinions are only valid as long as they stand up. It doesn't matter to me if Dawkins, Dennett, Harris, Hitchens, uh, you, the head of American Atheists, Ellen Johnson, the, the board of directors, all come down and say, you're wrong. I respond to evidence, not na na boo boo they think it's real. What you did was sue for something for which you have no grounds to sue. You used a bullying tactic to try and censor somebody's free expression. And in doing so, you risk making the rest of us look like humorless, litigious people who get so upset because somebody called us a fool. I, for one, take pride in being called a fool by the foolish. And while you quickly called me an asshole in email, I take pride in being called an asshole by somebody who actually is an asshole. And if you're willing to trample over the Constitution in order to stifle other people's opinions because you find them personally offensive or troubling, you're an asshole. So? That, just, that doesn't change. No matter what you think, it doesn't change what is. And what is is that that bumper sticker is libelous. Is what? It's slander. No, it's not. Slander and libel have to be directed, directed at a specific individual or some type of suable authority. There is no atheist thing that could sue. Oh, really? Yes, really. And Uh-huh. Yes. No, uh I think that's where this conversation is going. Yeah. Uh, so, about... so you wrote, you wrote, and I want to get this over with. Um, you wrote because you wanted a challenge. Here's your challenge. I'll write a letter to Ray and Kirk and send you a copy of it. If I get letters from your readers and listeners telling me that it was a bad thing that the bumper sticker was removed. First of all, I'm not saying it was a bad thing that the bumper sticker removed. Actually, I will. Uh, my objection was to it. Uh, the fact that you threatened to sue in order to do it. I'm a little disappointed that the bumper sticker has been removed because now I'm going to have to go out and make one of my own and put it on my own car because I'm happy to put on my car something that some religious nut thinks uh, that I'm a fool because it doesn't matter. He's not the only one. What? He's not the only one who thinks that. I, I didn't say any one. I said some. Do you Most comprehend English? Most of them. Okay. If all of them think I'm a fool, I'm still proud of it because the reason they think I'm a fool is because they have decided to take as true the words in an ancient book written by a bunch of people who didn't know anything about anything. They believe it was written by their God, so they think it's true. That to me is smacks of so much irony that these people who have committed the ultimate act of foolishness feel that they call me a fool that I can actually laugh about it. I suffer no ill will at the hands of that, or no, no ill effects at the hands of that bumper sticker. But what you want is you want listeners, number one, to write to tell you that it was a bad thing that the bumper sticker was removed, that they don't mind being called fools on bumper stickers, uh, uh, I don't mind, uh, and that they don't mind that it causes believers to refuse to vote for them. The bumper sticker does not cause 
people not to vote for them. This is a bigger religious bigotry issue that the bumper sticker is only a fine, finite little part of. Um, nobody, I, I, well, okay, maybe somebody, almost nobody has ever looked at that bumper sticker and said, hey, that's kind of funny, and you know what? I think I'm not going to vote for atheists now because clearly they're immoral and untrustworthy. Uh, if you extrapolate like this, what frickin' fantasy world are you living in? Nobody thinks it's funny. Uh, I do. So I do. clearly you then are you're frickin' wrong. If you think it's funny, you're a fool. Well... Uh, we've already established that you are, but, or at least in No, my, we haven't established anything like that. Yes, we have. We've established that, in my opinion, you're a fool. And it's a fool. And I think it's a yours. fact. And Russell thinks it's a fact. Doesn't matter. So we're going to get a bumper sticker that says, we think, pa Matt thinks Patrick Green is a fool, and Russell thinks this is a fact. Go ahead. Does that, is that something that you'd sue over? How about this? I want you to make it. Put it on your bumper and send me a picture. Oh, the veiled threat. No, You're it's the not veiled. most conniving guy I've ever heard of. Woo! So, anyway, Why do, you have, you do, it? do you have an email address that you would. Because, see, the thing is, I don't oh, know okay, what. Let the, me give you my email address. Ha hang on just a second. I don't know what the opinions of our listeners are. There's other people in the line. I'm sure we'll hear some today. I want believers I'm, and non believers, guys. I, well, then you called the wrong show because we don't actually get a ton of believers. But oh. in any case, um, I, I don't know what the opinions of the listeners are, but well, I offer my email address. Oh my God! Would you let me talk? <laughs> you talk a lot. I Go know ahead. it's my show. I'm going to hang address. up before you give the email address. Okay. The point that I'm getting to is that we're going to go ahead and let you give out the email address. And anybody who watches this show, listens to it, whether you're in the Austin area, around the world, whatever, regardless of what your opinion is, because I'm not here to stifle opinions, if you think it was a good idea to threaten to sue in order to remove a bumper sticker, let him know. If you think it was a bad idea, let him know that too. Just make sure that when you send the email, send it to the email address that I'm going to let him give, and we can maybe post it up on a graphic if the guys have time. <laughs> and also copy tv at atheist-community.org, just so that we can get a kind of a clear frame Head of count. reference. So now, Patrick, you can give out your email address. Okay. It's Peewee, you know, like P-E-E-W-E, -E -E, like you call it short person Peewee. Sure. And underscore 91762 at yahoo.com. I made it that because Peewee was my nickname in the Air Force. Did you sue anybody? It was a very loving that's, that's and very affectionate way of, of uh, addressing me. My sergeant gave it to me uh, back in 68. He, I was walking up to him in the warehouse, and he said, God, you're a peewee, aren't you? And I took it as a, a very big affectionate compliment. Oh, so he basically found a cute way to call you short, so you took it as affectionate. And when somebody else called you a fool, rather than just you know laughing and shrugging it off, you get pissed off and threaten to sue. He was joking. I'm sorry, was that P-E-W-E -E with one no, e no. each time? P two. P two is that, E's. Is it right yeah. on the screen? P-E-W-E-E. -E -E. Okay, got it. Got it. Pee-wee is two E's before in the middle and two E's after. Pee-wee. It is on the it, screen. It's on the and screen. everybody, please remember that he asked for this and we did not. Yeah, and I did not send rabid listeners out to harass him. So that's Pee-wee underscore 91762 at yahoo.com. So lastly, okay. right before I let you go, there was one last... And I will answer every single email that's sent. Oh, I, I have no doubt, because clearly you've got like a persecution complex and no life, but there was one last attack in the email that you sent me, which where you said that I'm clearly ashamed of being an atheist. You're right. I am ashamed of being an atheist. That's why I'm president of the ACA. That's why I come on and do this TV show every week. That's why I do the nonprofits all the time. Oh, That's I had why a show I like myself. I had a TV show myself oh, that okay. I produced and hosted for two years. Okay, well, I got you beat there too. Are we going to measure penises for the rest of the time? <laughs> you mean this show is obscene? Uh, it is as long as you're on, which is over now. So that was Patrick. Uh, please email him, let him know. And if you disagree and you think we were wrong at all, I'd love to hear that too. Um, I I got kind of riled up over this because. Like I said, the First Amendment is one of the few things that I would consider to be almost sacred. As a matter of fact, I don't really think I have a problem using that kind of word for it. It's the, one of the things that I revere the most. And this bullying tactic of, I'm going to sue you unless you take down this thing that I find offensive, um, I find offensive. I think it's foolish. But if you disagree, 
And that goes for, you know, I don't care if you're the president of, especially if you're the president of some atheist organization. And I've got it all wrong, and Russell's got it all wrong, and mm -hmm. I don't know, did anybody here disagree? No, but, you know, let us know. And if you did, do you want to make something of it? Yeah. <laughs> let me take you outside in my fancy hat. <laughs> Look, I'm a cat toy. All right. Okay.